shocking mystery of Antarctica pyramids finally solved. For years, Antarctic pyramids have intrigued researchers and conspiracy theorists alike. However, in today's video, we will be looking at some recent discoveries about the fantastic pyramids. Watch this video to the end, as we unveil the truth behind this timeless artifact. Join us as we go into this thrilling journey of discovery. What are these Antarctic pyramids? The Antarctic pyramids have remained a tantalizing mystery for centuries, and there have been speculations and conspiracy theories concerning this region. Some have suggested that it has profound connection to extraterrestrial beings or lost ancient civilizations. Some even claim that these pyramids hold the key to Atlantis. Another one of the controversies surrounding Antarctica is that there used to be a rainforest with trees that are over 260 million years old. Well, this rainforest is now covered under ice. That's to say, there's been some kind of lost civilization in Antarctica. While scientists have claimed that this is possible because of the climate change that changed the course of the Earth, the question that had, however, lingered is, were Homo sapiens alive during this lush, rainy forest period of Antarctica? Moreover, one of the famous conspiracy theories about the region is the said discovery of a pyramid-like shape that suddenly became internet famous with countless theorists contemplating its origin. While some are wondering whether an ancient civilization created the rocky, pyramidal structure, others are pointing toward outer space, speculating about the involvement of aliens. We can understand why these theories are flying, though. Antarctica is one of the last remaining unexplored places on Earth, so it's no wonder theories arrive about what's happening at the bottom of the world. Although these theories sound interesting and enthralling, we have to think deeply and ascertain the validity of these stories. So now, the question is, are the theories concerning Antarctica pyramids true? And if they are, does that mean there was truly an advanced human civilization before our time? It's important to note that exploring Antarctica is no easy task. The continent's harsh climate and remote location have made it a challenging endeavor for researchers. Early expeditions faced severe weather conditions and limited technology, which hindered their efforts to unveil the secrets buried in the ice. However, we have scientists and explorers like Dr. James McClintock Rowald and Amundsen Sir Ernest Shackleton and many other researchers who, despite the challenges, have ventured to Antarctica in search of answers. These daring researchers have brought back fascinating clues that have kept the mystery alive. Over the years, researchers have discovered intriguing anomalies, such as strange geometric formations hidden beneath the ice. These structures spark speculations about their origin and purpose. Not only were they able to cite some structures on the satellite image, but the most important and amazing thing is, these structures seem to be aligned in patterns and similar in shape to ancient pyramids found in other parts of the world. Although this news is fascinating, shocking and amazing, we have to be cautious about drawing hasty conclusions. We need to explore other possible explanations before jumping to extraordinary claims. That's why we are going to take a look at other ancient structures that suggest that there might be an advanced ancient civilization and their representative might have been the ones who built the pyramids at Antarctica. The pyramids at Chichen Itza in Mexico, the pyramid of Ochocer in Egypt, and the Kofkat Sanctuary in Colombia are all similar structures that were built by different primitive societies independently at different times in history. The bizarre thing was that these structures were built at a distance of half the world from each other, and they are hundreds if not thousands of years apart. And if we say they are built by representatives of the same advanced ancient civilization, how could they easily cross the ocean if they hadn't had the kind of civilization that modern society now has? Structures like this have left scientists baffled as there are no rational facts to explain them. 
There's also the mystery of the Göbekli Temple in Turkey, which was confirmed to be built around the 10th millennium BC. The ancient people of the society, who are said to be hunters and gatherers, turned out to know not only about the technology of construction, but also about astronomy. This was because Giulio Magli, a professor at the Polytechnic of Milan, discovered that the Göbekli Temple was not a temple. Instead, it was a real observatory, as the middle lines between the central monoliths of the complex coincide with the azimuth during the summer solaces. Hence, the supposed primitive ancient humans might have the knowledge that's believed to be exclusively for modern humans. Now, what would stop the people who knew these things from traveling around the world and building pyramids? Surprisingly, the maps dating back to the 16th century show Antarctica without ice, which has led some to speculate that an ancient civilization once thrived on this icy continent. Well, the map is evidence that they had traveled wide and far. In the map of 1513, we could see Antarctica in a world that even modern humans have not fully explored. On the map, we could see the accurately depicted coastline that is now hidden in the ice-covered Antarctica. This is a testament that ancient humans were also curious in search of knowledge of their environment. No wonder they were able to build those structures. Additionally, ancient texts from various cultures speak of distant lands and lost civilizations, prompting some to believe that Antarctica might have been the home of an advanced society long ago. Therefore, it may be that the dwellers of this ancient advanced society built the supposed pyramids in Antarctica. Now, let's explore how modern technology has played a vital role in solving the Antarctic pyramid mystery. In recent years, advancements in satellite imaging have revolutionized our understanding of Antarctica. High-resolution images have revealed hidden structures and features buried beneath the ice, providing valuable data for researchers. The satellite images have unveiled new pyramid-like formations, fueling further debates and theories among researchers and enthusiasts. With all the buzz surrounding the Antarctic pyramids, it's essential to separate fact from fiction. Let's examine some scientific theories that challenge the more outlandish claims and conspiracy theories. Geology and natural processes can create structures that may appear artificial from a distance. Moreover, the idea of a lost civilization thriving in Antarctica doesn't align with what we know about the continent's past climate. It's vital to rely on evidence-based conclusions rather than sensational speculations. Additionally, Eric Grignot, a professor of Earth System Science at the University of California, Irvine, told Life Science in an email. He said, Pyramid shapes are not impossible. Many peaks partially look like pyramids, but they only have one to two faces like that, rarely four. This is to say the supposed pyramids in Antarctica are just mountains that looked like pyramids. Amongst the conspiracies that were sent online, someone claimed they were 100 million years old. The quote was assumed to be factual and repeated across the internet unchecked. So, had humans with the technology to build pyramids been in Antarctica 100 million years ago? Unfortunately, that's not the case. Firstly, humans have only existed in today's form for around 200,000 years. Secondly, the pyramids were revealed to be part of the Ellsworth Mountains in the Heritage Range. If we were also to go by Occam's razor, which is the idea that the simplest explanation is usually preferable or right compared to the complex one, then those steep pyramid-like sites are likely the work of hundreds of millions of years of erosion, as in the case of the famous Alpine Matterhorn Mountain. This claim is supported by some scientists and geologists. Are the pyramids in Antarctica real or myth? Scientists and geologists have called Antarctic pyramids are, in fact, natural geological formations, sculpted by ice, wind and other environmental forces over millennia. 
The shapes might resemble pyramids from a distance, but they lack the intricate features and patterns characteristic for human-made structures. However, those who have supported the story of the existence of an advanced human civilization have claimed that the pyramids in Egypt, the Mont d'Acodi sanctuary in Italy, and the Argolis pyramid in Greece have all similarities. So maybe there was the existence of a truly ancient civilization that was responsible for building the pyramids in Antarctica. Also, the artifacts from Bolivia, Turkey and Indonesia all have similar attributes. And they suggest that there has been the existence of an advanced ancient civilization that could travel across oceans. Arguments have also been made about the question that if there was truly an advanced ancient civilization, couldn't we find some remains like what would happen if our modern civilization was destroyed? Our modern civilization, if destroyed, might be traceable because our plastics would still be decomposing for over 15 million years. Now, it raises another question of whether the advanced ancient civilization found crude oil, which was used to make plastic like ours, or they considered it useless, or better still, they decided not to use it because of its harmful effects on plants. So, they decided to go organic. Whatever the narrative is, the pyramids in Antarctica still need to go through scientific rigor, but we may need to open our minds to test myths and ancient stories as well. Maybe they aren't just fiction. What do you think about this? We would love to know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to like, comment and share. Till we meet in the next video. Goodbye.